It has officially been one year since I lived out my dream of meeting capybaras. You guys may remember, ever since I found out those creatures existed, all I wanted to do was spend a day with them. And last year, I was able to, thanks to a man named Ben from the Urban Rescue Ranch. Just the other day, I was laying in bed. It was about noon. I was trying to sleep in, and then I get a call on my phone. Guess who it's from? Uncle Ben. Good morning, everybody. He reminded me that I'm the godfather of Gorton Quandale, the capybaras, and that I needed to come see them because they have gotten so much bigger. Now, I secretly have been waiting an entire year to get invited back, so that was all I needed to drop everything I needed to do, pack up a bag, and go. Well, it was a few hours later, but I went. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. Because right now, after one full year, we are on our way back to the Urban Rescue Ranch. We have about a two-hour drive ahead of us to Waco, Texas, but this time we're doing it a little bit different. I'm gonna get there and sleep there overnight and spend 24 hours with Ben at the Urban Rescue Ranch. This is probably going to be a very scuffed video, but it should be a lot of fun. And like I said, we got a two hour journey ahead of us, so I guess we'll see you when we get there. Oh wait, we gotta make one stop on the way before we get there. You know where we are. This is Bucky's, the largest gas station in the world, who for some reason has their own merch. Oh. This place is iconic. They got bathing suits for your kids. They got their own brand of jerky, candy. Candy Legos. That looks tasty. Wouldn't mind this feeding to my three-year-old son and having him choke. Hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? You doing all right? Doing all right, yeah. Do you know what capybaras are? No? It's a, it's a giant rat, basically. But it's like one of the cutest things in the world. And I, I get to go hang out. So. You don't think it's cute? And you gonna go play with that thing? <laughs> <laughs> I bought a big watermelon, so I'm gonna go feed uh -huh. that to him. Oh my god, they like watermelon. Huh? They like watermelon, oh, yeah. they like... Um, Oranges. Yeah, mangoes. war crimes. I hope he don't bite you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Can thank you. All right, you have a good night. <laughs> I was, okay, thank you, have a good night. <laughs> Thank you. I was grabbing for the receipt and she just dapped me up. <laughs> All right, just got the soda. Big blue. Never tried it before. Let's give it a taste test. Tastes like cough medicine. That's awesome. So yeah, we're about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes away. About to go check on my godchildren, man. I'm excited to go see these capybaras. We'll see you when we get there, baby. All right, I think we arrived. It looks like we're here. I'm hoping, I mean, I don't remember from last time if this is the right place. I'm gonna call Ben really quick. Hello. Hey, I think I'm here. Oh, okay. Here, let me open up the gate for you in 20 to 30 minutes. Wait, what? All right, see you in 20 to 30 minutes. Uh. <laughs> okay, this is it. <laughs> hey, we made it. Uh, what am I supposed to drive through the lights? Hey, we have a no phones policy. We have a no phones policy uh, here at the farm. So I'll be taking that. Uh, do you want me to drive? Come on, yeah, go ahead, pull on in. Here, I'll lift this up for you. Is it okay if I hit it a little bit? Oh, oh. Okay. Hey, good to see you again. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just gonna go ahead and lock this real quick. Things are a lot different now. Yeah, we've changed, we've upgraded. What do you mean, in, in what department? Uh, well, now we have this big fence, so I can keep my interns from getting, I mean, uh, I can, I can keep the bad things out of here. How are the capybaras doing, man? I'm excited to see oh, them. Oh, capybaras are doing just fine. Don't you worry about that. We got a little bit of work to do, though, before we can see them play with them, if that's okay. What do you mean? What are we doing? Well, I just remember you saying, uh, hey, I'm willing to do whatever. You just put me to work. When, when did I say that? When did I say I that? I remember you saying that. I literally, I and called you and I said, can I hang out with the capybaras? No, I, I didn't no, say. No, no, there's a lot of work to be done. And when we're done with that, you can see the capies. Is that okay? That's right. I got bamboozled. I got there thinking I was going to spend 24 hours straight with capybaras. I thought I was just going to be in heaven for 24 hours straight. But no, that wasn't the case. Uncle Ben was hiding the capybaras from me until I completed a set list of chores for him. Which I guess that's kind of fair. I'll do some work for him if I get to spend some time with the capies. I guess that's a fair trade. It's not exactly what I signed up for when I was heading over there, but I'll do it. What do we have to do? Well, it's a little late, so I was about... Uh, we do a couple chores and then get some shut-eye. Well, where am I sleeping? Hey, don't you worry about that, but check this out. This is my new house that I'm building. Take a look. Doesn't look very... I'm not sleeping in there, am I? This is the new house, but this isn't where you guys are going to be sleeping. I got somewhere that's a little bit more your speed. Come on. Wait, why did you bring us in here? Come on, I just wanted you to see it. 
it's pretty cool. Like he said, we were only scheduled to do a few chores the night upon arrival because it was so late when we got in. So we're just gonna do a couple chores and head to bed. The first thing he made me do was feed his new pet crocodile. That might sound a little bit scary, but to me that wasn't even the scariest part. What happens right here was the scariest part for me. Okay, come on in here. Okay. It's time to feed my crocodile. Is that a deer? No, it's an antelope. Well, you're not scared of deer, are you? <laughs> I mean, I have a little bit- over here. I have a little fear of deer. Hey, look at him. His name's Patrick Bates. <laughs> He's such a stigma. Okay, here, come here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Sigma enough. Patrick was born on a little livestock trailer in West Texas because people buy them to hunt them here and you don't need any kind of permits to raise them or shoot them on your property. So people love these things. I'm honestly less scared of a crocodile than I am a, I don't know, but it's my anxiety peaks around deers for some reason. To make a long story short, I've had a fear of deer my entire life. It's very irrational, there's no reason behind it. I think I might have died by a deer in my past life or something, but they just freak me out, man. I asked Ben if we could feed the crocodile without the deer in the room, and he said, no, you need to get over your fear, this is exposure therapy. Okay, so this is a Morlay crocodile that we rescued from somebody's cringe ah uh, uh, kitchen. So this little guy was being kept in Tupperware in a kitchen with a little heat pad and he had no supplemental lighting and just like Patrick here in the great state of Texas these fellas do not need uh, any permits to be owned aren't you gonna give them a mouse do I have to do well, that these are two humanely euthanized mice that I found in the field over there I grabbed him and I went <laughs> his name's Gustavo Frank love that oh there he goes okay here wait we won't include that clip we do oh no he got it never mind we will include that clip that was an excellent clip I fed him all by myself. <laughs> now this is just a baby crocodile and he's only gonna get to be about nine feet max. When we found this little guy, he was completely emaciated, super skinny. He was missing the end of his tail because they put him with a Nile crocodile that bit his tail off. And he was missing most of his teeth. And now this little fella has made a complete and full recovery and he lets me hold him. Also we're farming gators. <laughs> Dude, they're like dinosaurs, man. When you think about it, it's like... Yeah, this is a literal dinosaur. This literally is modern-day dinosaur. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's wiggling. After feeding the crocodile, I said a quick hello to my old friend Poggers. Look at him being all cute. And then it was finally time to get some rest because we had a very long day tomorrow. And I was just ready to get some sleep and dream about seeing those capybaras. But then Uncle Ben hit me with this. It's been a long drive. I assume you guys want to go to bed now. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you sleep in that unfinished house over there. Come on, let's go. I'll show you guys where you sleep. You're, this is actually a uh, pillow for you. This is a purple pillow. Thank you. Very nice, very expensive. Oh, I like that. Only the best for my interns. Come on. I've actually got a dust mite allergy, so this is perfect. Go ahead, have a seat. In there? Yes. I bought this. I paid so much money for this to impress you. You're not being serious, are you? I did it literally last night. You slept in here last night? Yeah. What about like coyotes and stuff? Yeah, you're not getting away this time. <laughs> are you? Oh. Are you kidding me? Yeah, if you guys are interested in interning for their business, you're very welcome to apply. You're not being serious. <laughs> okay, guys, time to wake up our intern. <laughs> wake up! Time for chores. Come on. Come on, time for chores, get up! You slept in, the sun's been up for at least a few minutes now. Okay. Ugh. Okay, first things first, come on, no, no time to brush your teeth, I need you to grab that tortoise and bring it over to my house. I don't want that little guy to be wandering around here. Um, say that again? Say that, what was that? I said, take the tortoise and put it over by my house. Don't be afraid of this deer. I know that you have a, I read online that you have a phobia of deer. Look at this. Uh, he's heavy, sir. Every morning I want you to wake up and carry him from wherever he was and all the way over here so that he can get a nice soak in. We're gonna put him in our pool. He's heavy, sir. Yeah, I know he's heavy. That's why I'm having you do this. Okay, okay. Alright, that's good. See, it's not too deep. Now this is a Socata tortoise. He's about 13 years old and he's a rescue. Okay. Uh, so we have him in here in the so he can soak with the nice warm water. But we do want him to be able to get nice and wet for a little bit every day. You have anything for breakfast or anything like that? No. No. Well, there was a toad that I saw that was stuck in here. And that was my first task of the day. Immediately waking up and carrying a 50 pound tortoise a quarter mile down the property into a kiddie pool. Oh, 
Just saved them a year of travel. <laughs> Task complete. Next, it was feeding time for the Rhea. And if you didn't know, Rhea's are giant birds from South Africa. Okay, good morning. Next thing I need you to do is just go ahead and give these to Karen. Put them way up high. I need her to jump for them. This okay. is a training exercise. Karen, come on. Okay, oh, there you go. Now she needs to eat yours. Wait, watch this. She's gonna eat it whole. <laughs> now dangle that in front. Dangle that little girl. Is it only her that, that likes him? Yeah, for some reason. Oh. Oh. No. No, no, don't let her. Oh. Who is this? Soldier boy? That's Soldier boy. That's her son. Hello, Soldier boy. Jumps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's time to go to the store. This is the only food you get today, by the way, so savor it. But we have to go to the store and get some minnows to stock the pond. And you have to pay for it. I didn't have, I didn't bring my wallet. I didn't bring it to what, the store. What's a, oh man, what's a minnow? A minnow is a small freshwater fish. I did not know that. Basically, we were going to this local fish store to buy a thousand of them to fill up Ben's brand new pond. Basically, we were buying these fish because the other fish eat them. It's kind of sad, but some of them are going to survive and thrive there. So at least that's kind of cool. Hey, he's our intern, so he's going to be paying. How much? It's uh, uh, it's one one forty nine forty, but I think that's not including tax. No, it's one sixty one seventy three. And you got a tipper. Uh, okay, uh, come on. Come on, hey, come on, open the door. For oh, me. sorry. Okay, thank you. So that's what our interns do. We treat them really well here. After spending $150 on fish that I didn't know existed, we went back home. And before we put them in the pond, I had the pleasure of meeting up with one of my favorite animals at the ranch, Big Ounce the Prairie Dog. Mr. Ounce! Bakerton. There you go, sir. Take this. Oh. Take this. It's dangerous. Oh. <laughs> I miss you, buddy. Oh, dude. He's a lot friendlier now, too. Hey, buddy. We, I think Austin, when you guys first came, he was friendly, but he wasn't like this friendly. He got cancer and made a full recovery. I saw that, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So I had him inside for like. He's on his Walter months. White arc. <laughs> yeah, he, he, was, he was on his, his Breaking Bad arc. That's right. Big Ounce actually had cancer and he made a full recovery. So shout out to him. That's amazing. We also got to meet two adorable little kittens, but I didn't stay with them very long because I was allergic. Yeah, it's so they're tiny. Both, they're both little It's like big ounce size, <laughs> literally. Yeah. But they're getting, they're getting along. Uh -huh. Oh, oh come, on, come on. Let's see if they get along. He's gonna eat that. <laughs> don't, 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 don't eat that, bro. <laughs> so yeah, that might have been the cutest thing I've ever seen. But back to the task at hand. We have to see capybaras. We gotta complete these chores. And at this moment, I remembered, before we do the next chore, that I brought an Uncle Ben some gifts. So I wanted to hand them over before I forget. Okay, first... You look oh. like you might need this for uh... I had one of these, but I lost it. Okay, Thank well, you. that will come in handy. This, somebody sent me three of these, so I feel like you deserve one of those oh. for sure. That, this is the true Capybara Boulevard. These will both be hung up on my door. Let's go. And also, I don't know what shirt size you were, but I dropped this shirt and it has a Capybara on it. Are you an XL? No Does way. that fit? Beautiful. Wow, that's sick. Capybara drop. Let's go. I mean, it's sold out now, but you, you'll, you'll be uh, repping. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. I'm going to sell this. <laughs> you can sell it on the black I'm market. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sell this on my website now. <laughs> Just copy and paste it. Yeah. Just Chris. <laughs> Just make the top text Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, thank you. Oh, no problem. Out to the, uh, to the thing. Here, let me oh, hell yeah. Let me put this on. Let me put it on. Oh, he's, he's, he's on. literally about to be repping. That's crazy. And then, right when I was about to take those minnows we got out to the pond, Uncle Ben told me that we have one more thing to do first. And that was for me to get over my fear of deer. Because Patrick Bateman will be spending the entire day with us and not leaving our side at all. All right, guys, let's go. Let's get a little bottle for Patrick. All right, today's the day I get over my fear of deer. Okay, now you pick. <laughs> what do we give him? Do we give him protein powder? Okay. Meal replacer for people or milk replacer for animals? Uh, I'm gonna go with the multi-species milk replacer. Wrong. I actually give him exclusively pre-workout. Uh, <laughs> He's hitting the colon P face. Bleh. He's just so memeable. Yeah. Don't you want to just like fake his death a hundred times? Don't you want to just clickbait his death <laughs> at least 20 times? <laughs> What kind of cancer okay. did he have? Go ahead, shake that up. I don't know, he just had a tumor. You can still see it. Dude, my two fears, milk and deer. That's true. <laughs> okay. That's true. If that gets on my skin, I, I disintegrate. Okay, here you go. Time to overcome your fear. No offense to him specifically, but I think it's just the soulless look that deer have in their eyes that it's just like... That big black pupil. <laughs> yeah, bro, he's gonna attack you. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Patrick. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, oh that's adorable. There you go. Oh. <laughs> that's weird, bro. He's not taking it. I think it's because either the bottle looks different or just because he doesn't need it anymore. Patrick was growing up in front of Ben's eyes. That was the first time ever he didn't take the bottle because now he just eats real food, like grass. But I actually felt pretty good getting that one-on-one -on -one time with him. And it honestly helped me see a little bit, maybe these creatures aren't so bad. But then it was finally time to bring those minnows into the new pond. And you guys might not remember him having a pond because last time I was there, it didn't exist. He recently built this insane pond in the back of his property. And this is my first time going to check it out. Okay, Mr. Crispy. Oh. Good time to take all of these fish that you just paid for in this bottle. We'll save that for later. Uh, we're gonna put all of them in the pond. So let's go, come on, come on. I need you to take all these that you paid for and I still need you to Venmo me double for these. And you can go ahead and release these into the pond. Just dump them in? Yep, they're gonna be food for all the other fish that are in here. And also they're just gonna have this many. We can That's start sad. our they own just, population. They, dude, this deer, man, this deer. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sad that these are just born to to well, die. So some of them will release in here and the smart ones will get away. But the other ones will release in that top part of the pond right there that you see. And, and die. Uh, and they won't die up there. Be free, my so friends. Try, try and release like Be half. free. Oh, oh, okay, okay, all right. Oh, whoa, 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 we got some stragglers. We got some stragglers. Come on, guys. So now we have a huge school in here. School. What they learning? And then bring these up top? Yeah. You are the chosen ones. You will represent this community. Oh. Here we go. There you go, fellas. There you go. Now we have a thousand more pets. Let's go. <laughs> Can I name one? No. <laughs> After we fed the pond, it was time to feed the animals. Okay, next thing I need you to do is go in there with that ostrich. He's probably gonna kick you, uh, but I hope you have health insurance. Uh, and I need you to go ahead and feed them and fill up all the feed buckets for the rest of these animals. So there's about four or five pallets of feed in that storage container. I need you to just go ahead and get that. Okay, this is the store. This is the Urban Rescue Ranch store now that we have. And uh, we don't need to go to Tractor Supply anymore because we have this. Wait, so what am I grabbing? I don't know. Do you see any rats? No. <laughs> is there rats in here? Maybe. Probably. Uh... Look at all this feed. Oh! <laughs> you got a soft hand, boy. Hands. Looks like you ain't never worked a day in your life. The sheep have overgrazed this area and I've been spending a ton of money on pelleted food to feed them because I still love them and care for them. We are going to be rehoming them pretty soon, but I need you to help me herd them all into that enclosure over there with the geese. That's sure. That's right, you're going to be a shepherd today. Come on. I should have brought my herding oh. dog, man. He would have been great. Hello. Oh, goodbye. Look at the little... <laughs> A little baby. So all of these are sanctuary animals that people have either given me because they didn't want them anymore or they just wanted them to be at a nice place. They couldn't have them anymore. Or they're just animals that were from neglect or uh, some other kind of cringe situation. Oh, they're coming out. Yeah, here they He's come. free! Here they come. Fluffy, ah, uh, animals. <laughs> oh, 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 get up, get up, oh, hey. Come on. Rip this top part right there. Oh my, did he just ram into me? I think the goat, the goat jumped into him. And then after that, you just pour it in. Oh. Ah. Very nice. Ah. Very nice. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I like that. So this is PewDiePie and Market Flyers. <laughs> How do you open this, bro? Don't it just Venmo me like $300 and we'll call it even. You broke it. For, for <laughs> you broke the bag. You need to Venmo me $200. Okay. <laughs> Bro said, Mah. Damn. Are y'all hungry too? Oh my goodness, he is huge. Look at this boy. Who's a hungry boy? Me, me, me. Minecraft eating sound. <laughs> oh. Hello. This beat is perfect for all of them, so it's the perfect look. What's her name? Oh, Billy Eyelash, nice to meet you. I love your hit single, Bad Guy. Oh, look at his little webbed arms. <laughs> this is adorable, man. And look at, there is the baby. Oh my God, he's huge. Hello, the baby. Oh, what a good boy. Look at this little fella. Last time I, wouldn't even, I wasn't even able to touch him. Now I can feel he's so soft. Interesting, did not expect him to be this soft. I feel like if he had a voice, he'd sound like AI Drake. Oh, sir. So what do you do for a living? I am a multi-million dollar rap artist. Can we take a tour of your apartment? I hate poor people. Would you rate that out of 10? 
That was Loki mid. This man could kill me with a kick right now. <laughs> <laughs> like he's got the power to like actually in that claw. For sure. It feels yeah. like he maybe he doesn't realize that. No, he has no idea. He thinks he's just a little baby still. Because he is. He's still a chick, technically. Crispy, you fell off. You were funnier when you played Call of Duty. Bro, you don't have to take it there, okay? Yo, relax. Yo, yo, chill, 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 yo, yo. Just a prank. Just a prank. No wonder only 50% of your viewers are subscribed. After I fed the animals, it was time to herd those sheep. It was my first time ever being a herder. I do have ears, so maybe I am a herder in other ways, but uh, I, this is my first time herding animals, and it was pretty cool. We, all you gotta do is just, I guess, go behind them, and, and they just know where to go. Our next step is we have to bring these beautiful little sheep and goats into here. Come on, fellas. This is literally like Minecraft. Oh, no! Oh, no! Get back here. If there's one thing I know, it's how to open one of these bags. Hey, what? What are you quacking at? Oh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this, goats! Look at this! Oh, wow, goats, look at this. Come on, come on, goats. Bro, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was actually, that was really hard for me. I could never have Task complete. Much. After we herded the goats and sheep, I had another pretty easy job. I was handed a hose and I had to water geese. <laughs> I had no idea that was a thing, but Ben also instructed me to water his geese. Okay, your next task is to water my geese in this tree here. This apple tree's starting to die. So I need you to water the geese real good. <laughs> I could do this every day. I mean, I wouldn't mind watering some plants. I have a cactus I take care of at home. This is funny though, watch. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> They like getting wet, man. It's hot out there for them. It's 105 degrees here in Texas today. Pick the perfect day to do this. Can I be done yet, Ben? No! Daddy's gotta post his title and thumbnail! Okay. Hey. Okay, sorry. Yeah, he asked me for advice on his title and thumbnail. I just told him to say the big ounce died again. Look at the little baby one. Look at the little baby, man. I don't know if he likes it or hates it. Making it rain on him. Oh, there you go. Get all dirty. Roll around, Petunia. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what to do. Yeah, there we go. Get all nice and dirty. We're gonna let her in the house and run around after. Should be fun. Am I done yet? Yeah, that's good. You can just throw that hose in the water. Alrighty. Task complete. Oh, I just got algae water all over me. Alright. See, this is why we don't need to give him the bottle anymore. Because he just, if he can eat on his own, he doesn't need a bottle. That's a huge W. If this man doesn't need any more food. The exposure therapy is low-key kind of working around him. I'm feeling less anxious. Oh, look at him, man. I was low-key starting to feel a lot better around this deer. But, you know, who cares about that? Because it was finally time for my last task of the day. All I wanted to do was just hang out with these capybars. Last thing I needed to do was probably the grossest. I had to dump the capybara's poop water, and you just watch what happens. It's nasty. Okay, Mr. Crispy, if that is your real name, I need you to go ahead and take a- Ooh, thank you, Patrick. I need you to go ahead and take off this little cap here so that we can get all the poop water out. I do this every two, three days. While we're changing this, we let them go into the nice pond, uh, and then we're gonna get a, go in there and swim with them, and that's gonna be another thing. You're gonna be cleaning up the poops while I get to swim and kiss them. Oh, awesome. Okay, and I just need you to go ahead and drain this out so we can refill it. We have to do this every two days. I need you to come up from Austin every two days to do this. For this us. is full of their poop? Oh, it's already getting on my hand. That's awesome. Don't worry, it's really nice. So just like, just right like this. Ah, dude! <laughs> Don't forget, this is your drinking water for the week, too. So make sure you bottle up a few of them, because that's what you're going to be drinking this week. Dude, my hands stink. <laughs> so yeah, after I got that nasty water on my hands, we were all done. Done. Everything was in the clear, and it was finally time for me to reunite with Gort and Quandale. But what I also didn't tell you guys is that since the last video, Ben has taken in two additional capybaras, Kumala and Sylvester. So now there is a total of four capybaras at the ranch, and this was hands down my favorite part of the day. Okay, fine. Now that you've done all your tasks for the day, I'll let you swim with the cappies and eat their poop. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're just gonna walk around. Oh, oh yeah, you gotta duck. You gotta duck. All right, now you gotta turn back. Oh, okay, now just go ahead. Now duck. Do a duck. Uh-huh. Okay, now keep your eyes closed. Walk to the side. We're almost there. We're almost at the cappy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> nice He's, to meet you, sir. This is what they do when they get really hot. They lick their arms. Look how big his biceps are. He compared is so to when hot. last came by. Yeah, he's a, whoa, he's a whoa, 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 Influencer boxing? Nah, we're doing interspecies boxing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I, I would be terrified to step in the ring with him. Okay, we're here. This is it. This is the capybara pond. Oh my god. There's all those <laughs> minnows that you really <laughs> Look how big he got. 
Oh my god, do you remember me? The alarm's going off. Dude. We really quickly ran back inside to grab all the different fruits that we had, and then we got to feed them to the capybaras. This was a dream come true, man. What is this? I want to buy this for myself. I don't know what this is called. Is it a cantaloupe? What do you think I am? Some kind of botanist? It's a summer... It's a dream melon. Didn't he get canceled? Yeah, dream... <laughs> okay. There. Ooh. Perfect. See? Okay, so one half for you, one for me. I'm going to have a little bite, me and then too. we can sit in there with them. I just got mostly seeds in that bite. Oh, it's good. Just stick to melons, man. Minecraft might not have been for you. The melons, though, are good. Come here, buddy. There you go. What is it, Patrick? Here you go. Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's so funny. My favorite animal, my least combining me into a sandwich. I think that is really good exposure therapy. Yeah. The last thing I want you to do is run my Capybara Mukbang channel for free. I want you to do all the filming, editing, and uploading uh, on a very st a tight schedule every day. Uh, and I need you to make it nice and ASMR-y so people will fall asleep to it. Okay guys, this is our new intern. He's gonna be taking over the uh, Capybara Mukbang channel. Uh, we're gonna see, let's give us that little whisper voice. Okay guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be tingling and watching Capybaras eat. Oh, take a bite, what, yeah. What tingles? Oh, we're doing tingles and shingles. We're all gonna get shingles after this one. Oh Lord, they coming. Here you go, the baby. Nice and nutritious for you. This totally makes you forget about the man you shot in Walmart six years ago, doesn't it, the baby? Oh, watermelon! Next time I'm gonna bring Mr. Beast's feastables for them. I'll bring my <laughs> I'll bring my collection of prime, but I don't want you to open it. <laughs> it's only for display and for the capybara's consumption. And honestly, I don't think the capybaras are worthy of it quite yet. <laughs> Who's right. your favorite Mr. Beast member? Alright, here's the watermelon I brought. Very excited because last time they didn't even eat watermelon and now I'm gonna get to see the meme live itself. <laughs> there you go! Come on, fellas, come me on. First, me first. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, this is what it's all about, man. This is what it's all about. Me and the boys. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be the best thumbnail ever. Girl sleepovers be like, oh my god, Jason's so hot. Oh my god, I love Brad. Boy sleepovers be like, <laughs> me and the boys. Boy sleepovers be like, <laughs> man, this is an industry. Whoa, whoa! Come on now, man. He, he messed up the whole vibe, man. <laughs> I was just saying how peaceful of a moment this is and the deer just jumps on my head. <laughs> Today we're doing a new challenge. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Capybara. Would you like $1 or a mystery gift? Mystery gift? Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Take it. <laughs> All right, soldier boy. $1 or mystery gift? Mystery gift? Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh. oh! What is going through this little fella's mind right now? We may never know. <laughs> I wonder if they have thoughts or like if they're conscious or if they have like Remember beliefs. We, talk we talked about this with the baby before and I think the consensus is like no. For most of these animals, no. They, they just have an instinct to survive and that's yes. it. We gonna go in the pool with them now. Or the, the pond. How safe one to ten is this water to swim in? If you had to give oh, a number. Ten for sure. Being I wouldn't drink it. Don't drink it. After hanging out with the Cappies for a while, the next step was to get in the pond with them. Now, I don't know how clean this water was. I, you know, definitely don't know if there's any mutations growing on my body after jumping in here, but Uncle Ben assured me that it would be okay. So I went in to swim with the Capybaras. Right when I did that though, it started to rain and we didn't realize the camera wasn't waterproof. <laughs> so it ended up like messing with the camera a lot. So here's some short clips that Uncle Ben got on his phone of me swimming with the Capybara. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Come on. Huh? <laughs> there sure is a lot of chemicals in this pond. Not sure what time it is now, but Uncle Ben told me he had to go take care of some things. And when I asked him what that meant, he just looked me right in my eyes and said September 23rd, 2045, and just drove off. So I've just been chilling here with these guys. And this is, <laughs> is honestly what life is about. If you get this opportunity, you will know what I mean. Being in this moment right now, I am completely zen. Surrounded by four dogs, covered in coconut, eating a fruit I've never heard of before. Ain't no way. Dude, these, fe oh, there you go. These fellas are so much more chill than they were last time. This is unbelievable. My godchildren have grown up to be superior beings. Oh, we, we're watching him poop. Group farting. <laughs> Group farting, it's happening. Group farting starting a little early tonight. 
It's only 7 p.m. <laughs> Next, we just spent some time with the cameras off, and I was really just trying to soak in the day of being with the capybaras and really just taking in that experience. I struggle a lot to feel present in my day-to-day -day life, and I've really just tried to anchor myself in that moment. Capybaras are known as healing creatures in nature. Like, they have just something about their energy and being around them just makes me feel extremely calm. They are adorable and everything, and they're the cutest animals in the world, but something about being around them just puts me at ease. So I wanted to just spend some time with them and really just take that in, and that's what we did for the next few hours. And then nighttime rolled around. We made a short little trip to Walmart. Uncle Ben was walking around barefoot for some reason. I don't think this man has a single fear in his life. We went back home, hung out with the cabbies at nighttime, grabbed some more watermelon. And then before I knew it, the 24 hours were up and it was just time to head home. Although there was a lot of hard work involved. And again, this video would not be possible without Ben. So thank you again for having me. We're already talking about me coming back and us continuing this series. If you guys want to see more videos, click subscribe. And also obviously go subscribe to Ben. His link will be in the description, but also subscribe to me because 50% of you are not. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Goodbye. There's also something coming very, very soon.